Now uh, here I'll <coughs> briefly discuss uh, concept behind circular permutation, right? So that when you go through the notes, you can understand it well. Now see, uh, most of the questions in permutation combination are based on a linear permutation. Very few questions are in circular permutation. The reason is that circular permutation is uh, uh, like difficult to make formulas in circular permutation as compared to linear permutation. So that's why, like, uh, uh, if we make a problem in circular permutation, then it will take so much time to solve that it, it, the problem will become impractical. You'll have to make cases and all, uh, um, and then we'll have to sum them up. So that's why the problems are less because the kind of formulas, kind of approaches, kind of fundamental principle of the way we use fundamental principle of counting the box method in linear permutation, we cannot use that in circular permutation. So let, let's let's see the why why circular permutation is not uh, uh, it cannot be handled the way a linear permutation can be can be done. So see it is like this in linear permutation. If we have to order A B C, we can do this in the these following ways: A B C, C A B, and you know uh, linear permutation means uh, linear ordering or you can say arrangement means that we have to arrange A B C in a row linearly means in a row so that uh, 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 they, their combination the various combinations look different so that their relative position is changed abc relative position is changed the same way now the relative positions of abc are changed in these possible six possible orders now when we have to arrange them in circular permutation <coughs> let's let's try to do that i can make arrangement abc in a circle like this right then i have to arrange cab when i start doing arranging C A B in a circle I realize the arrangement is same because I, I have made a circle of these three objects A B C and if I make a circle you can see in a circular A then B and then C in a circle in a circular permutation A B C and then this C A B is same I have done nothing only uh, 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 the way I am speaking is different A B C I say they are arranged in circle A B C then I say they are arranged in C B A then I said they are arranged in C A B A B A C. So all these three orders, you see, A B C, A B C. Then start with B B C A, here B C A, and then C A B. This is C A B. So all these three is equivalent to one circular permutation. All these three orders are equivalent to one circular permutation. Same here. You arrange uh, C B A, C. Uh, C <coughs> B A right C B A and 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 let's check let's let's C B A now let's see the C B A C B A B A C B A C A C B A C B. So again these three is equivalent to one circular permutation of A B C. Now these two circular permutations are different. Are these two different? Yes, these two are different. Because see if if if, if I am C sitting here uh, now in this circular permutation A is on my left hand side, B is on my right hand side. In this circular permutation B is on my left hand side and A is on my right hand side. So obviously these two orders are different because my neighbors are different, right? There are some scenarios where we even take these two as same. Generally we don't take, we take these two as same because uh, in the, the scenario where uh, if there is an option of uh, flipping this order 180 degree about the vertical line. When it's flipping the 180 degree, flipping it along the vertical line, right? When I flip it along the vertical line, you can see what will happen uh, flip it like this about C you can say about flip it about C if I flip it about C 180 degrees so C will remain C but B will come on this side and A will come on this side so this on flipping 180 degree about C this order will become this order so these two are same if the arrangements can be flipped the arrangement of objects around around a circle can be flipped about an object 180 degree and that happens in a problem which is based on uh, garland because in gar garland or <coughs> Uh, uh, any 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 thing which can be flipped around uh, around it. So in a garland you can turn it. We have a garland of uh, flowers, for example. So you can one, two, three, four, five, six. You can pick it up and throw it, flip it uh, 
so this four will remain four but in place of five we'll get three uh, uh, sorry three here five will come here six will come here two will come here one will remain here so these two are same because the same garland garland is not changed so clockwise order and anti-clockwise only difference is that on flipping a 180 degree you have changed clockwise order to anti-clockwise order so where we cannot differentiate between clockwise and anti-clockwise order we even take these two as same but but that's a that's a different thing at this stage we have realized in circular permutation it answer is 3 factorial in circular uh, in linear permutation answer is 3 factorial whereas in circular permutation the orders are less and it will come out to be 2 factorial now uh, how to do it do it a general do it general if we have objects a1 a2 a3 a4 goes on till a n we can arrange in a linear permutation in n factorial ways when it comes to circular permutation how to find that answer so the concept will apply here is will see we'll fix one if we fix a1 right circle in circle there is no starting point that's that's how why the answer is different there's no starting point when you uh, finish at an you again are at a1 from an you, you can go to a1 whereas in linear you cannot uh, from a an you cannot move to an so what we'll do we'll fix one element to arrange them in a circular permutation and r arrange remaining relative to this goes on till an one an so if i fix this a1 is fixed and there are n minus 1 objects right, which we had to arrange in a in a sub linear permutation now about a1 means now from a n you cannot move to a2 right we have fixed this we have cut about uh, uh, we have made a we have we have made a cut here or we have fixed a1 here so remaining should be arranged relative to a1 right so this can happen in n minus 1 factorial ways if a1 is gone and remaining n minus 1 objects are there we can arrange them in a linear permutation in n minus one factorial base so this concept will apply to solve problems that we fix an element and then we arrange remaining about that not everywhere we can apply this concept but at some many places we'll apply this concept right and you can uh, <coughs> have uh, recorded the video of illustration 87 you can just go through it and and see uh, how i have uh, solved it using two approaches where one of the approaches is where i have fixed an element